welcome back to already the fifth episode in my devlog series. In this episode we're going to be looking at my quest implementations I've been working on in the last few months and the roadmap for the future. So let's dive in. First up however are some UI changes I've made. I'm preparing the game for an internal test so I'm trying to tie up some loose ends and not having a consistent UI was one of them. So here you can see the health bars the player has in the left top corner and in the middle top you can see the navigation bar. Other UI elements that have been changed are for example the quest board as you can see in the background right now and also interaction windows. As I've said in previous videos, working on quest generation kind of brings all the parts of the game together. So there was also quite a lot of work I had to put in to get all of this to work. Uh, by far the most work lately has been going into conversations. Uh, so the conversation the player has with the quest giver or any participant in the quest. Uh, considering everything is generated, there's a lot of options, possibilities, and yeah, you don't want the same text every time. So I had to make sure everything felt new. Um, it's far from done, but at least the basics are there. So conversations is the first step. The next one is targets. So you can imagine with having everything generated, determining the targets and the subjects for every quest is quite a hassle as well. Um, basics are in, still needs a lot of improvements, um, but at least all quests now have at least decent suitable options for quest givers, uh, people to uh, kill for example, or to negotiate with. Uh, yeah. Next one, and that is of course by far the biggest one, is the actual implementation of all the quest variations. Um, with this first set now, I've done five of the planned quest steps, that's how I call them. Um, with these first five, I have a very decent layout of how the whole quest system is gonna work. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And um, yeah, let's uh, show off what those five steps look like in game. Here you can see the quest board. Um, we're gonna be selecting a quest uh, escort quest. That's the first step I finished. Um, for now, only starting quests through the quest board. In the future, I want to be supporting events and uh, starting it through picking up items, other ways. But for now, the quest board will suffice. Here you can see the first interaction with the quest giver after picking up the quest. Um, there's some small information about what needs to be done and the question, are they up for the task? If yes, then task accepted. As you can see, the locations are a little bit random still. Um, yeah, the, there will be put more thought into that in the future. But for now, um, it's picking up any random point of interest on the map as a potential uh, uh, spot to go to. Here we're approaching the actual target. Um, we're going to ask him, uh, are they ready? Or they're going to ask us, are we ready? We say yes. And they follow us. And this is where the fun starts. Um, this is uh, a long way, or it yeah, depends on what the point of interest is that was selected uh, to the target. I programmed it, as you can see here, uh, if you talk to the target during the escort to tell you how far you're still uh, how far the, the travel still is. During the travel towards the target, after certain intervals, um, ambush events are triggered. So these also come, uh, yeah, the event system comes into play here. I've gone into that a little bit during my last devlog. Um, don't use them that much yet, but here they are being used.
but yeah as you can see i'll, I'll show you uh, an ambush for now there's not really any relevance to the npcs that spawn that attack you uh, but in the future they they can be uh, so for example you're doing an escort quest for a guild uh, and an opposing guild sends some assassins to attack you on the on the way you can also see that the npc that you're escorting here if they are wearing weapons will help you fight the ambush so that's pretty nice and here you can see us arriving at the actual destination, the goblin camp. Uh, when you arrive there, a conversation will be started by the target NPC to uh, thank you. The texts are missing right now, uh, but yeah, they'll be included later. Um, he doesn't actually leave my side until we actually clear out the camp. So uh, we do that quickly and uh, yeah, after this we should go back to the quest giver to uh, complete our quest. Here's something else I want to share before I move over to the next quest step. This uh, was the first uh, escort step I wanted to record for this video. And something funny happened. The escort target character actually ended up being killed for another quest that was uh, active for them i'm not really doing anything with that right now but i am planning in the future so that's going to be really cool to see that kind of interacting with each other these different type of quests next up is the explorer step um not too fancy this one yet uh, currently what it does is it's asking you to explore a uh, yeah, location what it will do is it will spawn a few NPCs at that location that can then be interacted with to ask questions about the location. They'll give information about the location that is actually related to it. Um, but that's it for now. In the future, I want there to be actually interactable objects to interact with and gain knowledge from. Uh, I already have that for other steps. So I'll, yeah, it's going to be not too, many, too, uh, too much work to get that in. Um, so that's uh, that's for the future next up is the investigation step um, currently there's two variations of that uh, implemented the first one is someone something that we have already kind of see happen that's when a, a, a npc is missing this is either a, a relative to the quest giver a friend or actually uh, an enemy um when you show up at the location uh, you can find the npc uh, being murdered um, this information then needs to be given back to the quest giver this can either end the quest or uh, if it's a multi-part quest will actually result in a follow-up step the other variation is the npc asking the player to investigate some weird noises coming from a certain point of interest and when they show up, uh, a random or a related boss fight starts. Right now, I only have one boss fight implemented, so it's always the, the troll boss fight. But yeah, you can imagine in the future that being uh, more suitable fights. Next up is the negotiation step. Um, this requires the player to... Uh, negotiate with a target subject um, conversation checks are in place here so for example if the player is very strong they can intimidate or if they have a lot of charisma they can persuade and if the player doesn't meet any of the skill checks then they'll have to do an extra quest step for this target uh, that they're negotiating with and then last but not least is the kill step. Uh, the kill step has three variations, um, mostly depending or completely depending on the type of uh, target you want to have killed. Uh, the three types are either one singular NPC, and this is considered an assassination. Otherwise, it can be a, a, a group of mobs. So, yeah, think of kill these monsters uh, plaguing uh, the farm. Uh, 
Uh, and the last one is a boss fight. So, um, for example, uh, a big scary enemy has been uh, terrorizing a certain point of interest and the player is being asked to, uh, to investigate it. That's not all though, because a quest with just one step is not interesting enough. And in order to make it more spicy, I've been looking into multi-part quests. So they are working already. Um, here we have a nice example of uh, different types of uh, quest steps followed up by each other. The I've been trying to keep the goals between the steps related to each other. Um, but there's a lot of room for improvement there. There's also not really any story generated around it. Um, so that's what I want to do in the next version. But yeah, here we have an example of what it look like, looks like to have a multi-part quest line. So we started out with a negotiation step and now we're being asked to look into some weird noises coming from an uh, from a house nearby this is something i still have to look into there is actually text here uh, like you saw before between the two steps for some reason that the between the second to last step and the last step it does this um, but yeah we uh, we did an investigation and now we're being asked to uh, deal with some uh, nuisances at the local bandit camp now again no real story tying it all together but that's going to be much easier to get done than having all this set up so uh, yeah really glad the basics are here and now from here i can uh, expand And that brings me to the last section of this devlog, and that's the roadmap. It's a roadmap to, uh, well, uh, the first version that will be released. Um, but let's start with the first step towards that. That's the core internal test. Um, yeah, it's the first core components to be tested by a, yeah, a group of people close to me um, who will be able to give me proper feedback on it. Um, here on the screen you can see what that will include it's pretty much everything I've been showing off in the last few months um, it's the quest system with the first half of all the quest steps integrated and the multi-part quest support you just saw core combat um, so just the weapons and shields melee combat that you have been seeing um, character equipment so being able to change out the weapons and the shields you have and uh, health and death so being able to uh, to die and the core dungeon uh, elements that I've been showing off in the past. So customizable dungeons uh, that are generated and different styles that can be used. This version I hope to have ready by the end of this month, otherwise uh, next month. Um, I will probably record some gameplay footage from that to share on the channel here. So you guys can see um, yeah, kind of the state of the project. I'll probably do a comparison to what it was when I started the channel to what it is now but uh, yeah after that I'm going to be aiming for a pre-alpha version that will include pretty much all the basics so I want the quest system to include all the quest steps I want all the quest intros to be included the basics for all combat types need to be in there so melee combat uh, ranged combat magic needs to be there and uh, skill combat I'll I'll go into that in, uh, in the future. Basic dungeons, so they have to be integrated with quests and uh, yeah, proper boss fight setups and the character creation. So currently there's not really any character creation and uh, yeah, well, that kind of is a need for an RPG. Big question is of course when I think to have that ready, um, that's difficult. I'm not gonna pin myself to any specific date for that. I hope to have this ready next year. It's not gonna happen this year, I know that for sure, because um, I wanna do it properly. Uh, is it gonna be early next year or late next year? No idea. I'll try and keep you updated through the channel on that. That's all I can say for now. And after that comes the 
alpha release version. So having done two big internal tests, doing a big internal test on the alpha version itself, of course, before it goes live, um, that should be enough, I think, for a public version. Um, what will it include? Of course, the same as the, the pre-alpha version. So all the, the basics are there, but also so, yeah, some, some nice touch-ups, some uh, finer details worked in, uh, very specific also in making the user experience just uh yeah proper um when will that be ready well even later of course than the pre-alpha version um but yeah hopefully end of next year hope uh no promises uh could very well be 2025 but yeah we'll uh, we'll see and that's it for this video Thank you for watching um i hope you're subscribed if not uh yeah consider subscribing uh please like the video and leave a comment it actually helps the channel i know everybody says that um, i'm saying it too now <laughs> so if you can that would be nice here are some other videos and playlists that you might find interesting in case you haven't seen them yet um and yeah having said that have a great day and see you next time